Hey guys, welcome back to Rapture Alerts. My name is Sean. If you're just tuning in, this is just a guy talking about Jesus. That's all I do over here. I'm watching and waiting for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to take us home in a pre-tribulation rapture. That's what I believe in. It's on my mind and my heart, and that's what we talk about over here. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well on this Sunday, guys. I love and miss you, and I'm praying for you. Please continue to uh, leave me comments and write me emails and send prayer requests. I love praying for you, but you got to reach out to me and let me know what you need. We're going to open up with prayer today, like we normally do, and I'm going to give you the topic right here, feed my sheep. This is what I do over here. This is what the Lord has me do now. This is how I serve the kingdom. Come over here with me and hang out. Why don't you grab your coffee and a snack, and let's get on some positivity today. His name is Jesus. It's the most positive thing in the world that you could ever cling on to or or, or reach out to and grab onto it. He's, he's a life preserver. He's your rock. He's your co-pilot. He's your redeemer. Come over here with me today and give thanks. And let's feed the sheep together. You don't have to have a YouTube channel to participate or give people the gospel or tell them your testimony or tell them you're saved or how to get saved. You just don't have to do that. There's not really a rhyme or reason to it. If you do what Jesus tells you to and follow your heart, and be honest do what he says and be like children be humble be lowly watch what happens he will turn around and bless you I love you guys let's go to him in prayer and thank him dear Heavenly Father thank you so much for dying on the cross for me thank you for saving me I cannot wait for you to take us home from this wicked world father I know you're alive and you're well thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit Thank you for never leaving us, Jesus. I ask that you please bless every single listener today, every subscriber, anybody that stumbles across this channel or they think they came over here by accident, Father. I ask that you please speak to their heart because you have them right where you want them in these last moments that we're in. We praise you and worship you, Father. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you for never leaving us and failing us, Father. Amen. He's so good got to come back up from a prayer like that and take a deep breath and just say Jesus is so good at least that's me so our verse for today I'm just going to give you one it's John 21 and if you remember it's where Jesus is telling Jesus is saying if you love me then feed my sheep if you love me feed my sheep and he says father you know he's asked do you love me he asked do you love me he says yes was it three times so what he's saying is, is if, if you love me, it's a little hot out here, sorry. If you love me, feed my sheep. So we're not, listen guys, we're not going out into a field and, you know, we're buying sheep that we don't need and feeding them and shaving them. Listen, that's not what he's saying. What he's saying is, is feed my sheep. If he's the shepherd and we're the sheep, then we have a responsibility to go and tell others about him and what he's done for us. You have to go and tell the good news. If you don't, then the lost won't ever know. Remember when you were lost and I was lost? We didn't know. We had no idea what was going on. We thought we had it all figured out. This is what Jesus is meaning by feed my sheep. If you love me, do this. So if I love him, am I going to, you know, just, what is it, uh, turn the camera off and, and get all down and depressed and stay in my bed and not come out here and give you content and scripture and prayer and, and answer you in emails and comments and, and look up answers for you to your questions. You see what I'm getting at? You have to make an effort. You have to trust him. If he's saying do this and you do it, it's going to turn out okay. He's going to bless you. But if you don't make an effort and you just say, well, I'm not ready to be a shepherd, you know. I know he says feed my sheep, but I'm not going to do that. Well, then you're in willful, di you're in willful disobedience, son. And that's not a good thing. You, you don't want to be like that with the Lord, do you? The tribulation is coming. There's not much time left. Sorry about the, the sound of the cars going by. I have, to, I have to do what I have to do right now because it's either 101 or 103 degrees out here or it's just, it looks like a typhoon out here. It's so flooded out here, you guys can't see. There's no way I can take the golf cart out, out there. So I'm, I'm up here by a road. I got cars. I got different things going on. I apologize about that. Guys, feed the sheep. Feed his sheep like he's asking. That, that's what this is. That's what Rapture Alerts is. This isn't about, you know, let me jump on here and I got to give you a news article real quick. 
we all see the news. And if there's something that I miss, you tell me. I love reading those emails. Hey, Sean, are you aware of this? I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. But the point is, is we're a community. We're a community for Jesus. It's who we stand for. It's what we're about. It's what we do over here. I learn from you. And, you know, maybe you pick up two or three things from me you didn't know. That's that's what it is. That's being in Christ together, brothers and sisters, and, and a real a real family like that. Don't get down. Don't get depressed. I'm praying for you. All of the illness and sicknesses, insomnia and anxiety and abuse and all these different shifts in your dynamics in your household. I'm praying for you. I really, really am, and I appreciate you praying for me too. We have to be strong. We have to remain faithful. We have to stay in the Word. We have to pray. We have to continue to pray without ceasing. That's the answer. Jesus is the answer. He's the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6 says it. Remember John 21, what we're talking about today. Feed my sheep. That could be telling your your uh, your son and your daughter about Christ. That could be you, if, if they're smaller. Maybe it's a prodigal son or a wayward, a wayward daughter. Maybe they were saved and they're just backslidden. And you're on the outs with them and you're just you're praying and you're crying out every day, Father, please save them. Please bring me my kids back. Well, you can feed those sheep. You fed them as you raised them, right? From from a child into an adult, into an adult or a teenager. You did that. But you didn't do it alone. You had a helper. You had a restrainer with you. The Lord was right there with you. Remember footprints? Remember that video that we did? So you're not alone. But remember, if, if you're wanting to feed those sheep, kind of bring them back to you. Get back onto that flock a little bit. Maybe do a Bible study with them. Maybe show them one of these videos. I don't know what it is, but I know when you get still and you ask the Holy Spirit for help and you cry out to Jesus and say, please help me with this. I don't know what I'm doing. See, there's no rhyme or reason to that. I'm doing what he commands. I'm crying out to him. I'm coming to him and telling him, I'm not God. I'm not Jesus. I'm not you. I don't have it all figured out. I'm a wretched sinner. I'm upside down in this world. They hate me. They hate everything about me because you're inside of me. And you said they hated you first. So I'm going to consider it all joy, right? Just like Romans says, consider it all joy. Or excuse me, all, th all things working together for the good, excuse me. But you know what I mean by, the, by that verse of consider it all joy when you experience these fiery trials. I think I might need another coffee. Excuse me for that little, <laughs> that little whoopsie. But anyway, let me give you an impression right here as we, as we segue out on the video and transition. I'm going to blink my eyes real good today and let everybody know in the comments, here comes another opportunity for you to listen to another story of me and my wife out in a Walmart parking lot. We were dismayed. We couldn't find anywhere to park. It was hot. And I think there was even a little bit of a low air pressure in the right rear tire. But I said, Lord, if you could come right now and just bless me and fill this tire up and give us a parking place, I know that it'll be in your will to bless us today, Father. And don't you know, congregation, that, that handicapped space opened up. We parked in it even though we're not handicapped. But the Lord blessed us and willed it to happen. We knew it was him. <laughs> so there's your joke for today, guys. Go feed the sheep like me. It's, it's boiling hot out here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for us. I hope you enjoy your Sunday. I hope you enjoy the little impression there. Mr. Osteen, he ought to be ashamed of himself being a false prophet leading Lakewood to hell. I love you guys so much and I miss you. Be careful about what you're watching on YouTube on Netflix, on any social media platform or what you're reading. Watch out for false flags and misinformation and misdirection. They don't like us, guys. If you stand for Jesus, if you stand for good nowadays, this world will hate you. But continue to do what we always say over here. If the rapture is not right now, it's not a few minutes from now, it's not tonight, you keep looking up and I'll see you up top.